Carl. Unfortunately, nothing good. We are going to continue tracking snow as we head through the night tonight, and it's going to be this really fluffy, uh, dry snow that we have been tracking all day long. Don't tell my IT department that I just dumped snow all over my desk, but it's not a big deal because the snow that we have out there right now. There's not much water with it. That's why it has accumulated so much over the past couple of hours, and we're going to see that same fluffy accumulation as we head through the day tomorrow. So let's start right off with how much snow, what kind of totals you are looking at as we head through the next 36 hours. Snow will pick up as we head through the night tonight, continue through the day tomorrow, ramp up tomorrow afternoon. So by tomorrow night, here are some of the totals that we could see around the Colorado Springs area. For most, about two to six inches of snow. But just like today, we had a bullseye across southwestern parts of the city. I think that we'll see a similar scenario setting up as this storm travels overhead. So we could see about four to nine inches of snow for some of the southwestern parts of the city again as we head through tomorrow and into Thursday. So, yes, more snow is on the way. Farther toward the south, about two to six inches for the areas of white across the wets and sand grays, though. We could see anywhere from a half a foot to a foot of snow when all is said and done across the plains not quite as impressive most areas just getting less than about one inch so let's jump right into this storm system starting you off tonight we're still tracking that snow across el paso county as we head into the early morning hours though you'll notice how that snow begins picking up this is a look at three o'clock in the morning as you're heading out the door early tomorrow morning to head into school or work or wherever your wednesday morning is taking you give yourself plenty of extra time because we are going to be tracking that snow continuing to fall with the areas of darker blue showing where we could have some moderate to heavy snow to greet you on your wednesday morning Watch what happens though through Wednesday afternoon. You'll notice this band setting up south of Pueblo along the I 25 corridor, up across the high country, south of Highway 50 over the plains. This is going to be that other bullseye that we showed you with those snow totals where we could see some very tough travel heading into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. The snow showers beginning to break up as we head into tomorrow night. It is going to be a rough day of travel in the morning, in the night, and if you thought it couldn't get any colder than today, it can. Tomorrow we will be colder than it was out there today with high temperatures in the low teens. For most across southern Colorado, some of the warmest readings will be up across the high country. So we don't get to say this very often. If you want to warm up, just head west into the high country. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, we are going to warm the temperatures slightly. If you can call 23 degrees warm on Thursday, it'll be much nicer on Friday with 40 degrees as your high temperature. Saturday, though, another system moves through. Saturday will be one of those days where during the morning, not so bad. But then during the afternoon, that cold front moves through and those temperatures drop dramatically. We'll have another chance for snow Saturday into Sunday. We are expecting accumulations this weekend, so we'll keep a very close eye on that as that storm system approaches. Pueblo tomorrow, 15 degrees, 20 degrees on Thursday. 40s have never looked so good, and we will see some of those Friday into Saturday before dropping into the 30s again on Sunday. We'll warm into the 50s, though, as we take you into early next week. Canyon City, 18 degrees tomorrow, 30s on Thursday, Friday, 49 degrees, 48 before that cold front moves through on Saturday, and then we are tracking the return of the snow this weekend. Teller County, 10 degrees tomorrow. It is going to be a very cold day, 34 on Thursday, with temperatures in the 30s through Sunday. We don't see 40s again until early next week. So, I mean, we had a lot of people who were like, what, what's going on? Where's fall? Where's winter? It's here. Here you yeah. go. 